Hi, I'm Nick, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great week. For those who just discovered me, thanks for stopping by. If you're interested in all things Halo, Pokemon, and vlogs, you've found the right channel. It's common knowledge that Pokemon is a very light-hearted, wholesome video game for all ages to enjoy. But for those who lived Pokemon, like me, know that there's more to these mysterious creatures than one might think. And sometimes, the things these creatures do in the wild, as well as among humankind, can be weird and creepy. And that's what the next topic we will focus on today. Here are six creepy Pokedex entries. Let's dive in. All right. So starting off the list is Cacturn, number 332 of the National Dex. Cacturn is a grass and dark type Pokemon that is 1.3 meters tall and weighs 77.4 kilograms. Hailing from the Hoenn region, the appearance of this Pokemon definitely looks a bit creepy. What with the jagged spikes that grin and those black eyes with the yellow iris? Indeed, I can agree, but it's Cacturn's entry that puts it on this list. In Pokemon Sapphire and Alpha Sapphire, it states, If a traveler is going through the desert in the thick of night, Cacturn will follow in a ragtag group. The Pokemon are biding their time, waiting for the traveler to tire and become incapable of moving. A majority of the Pokemon games have a different wording sometimes with the Pokédex entry, but the message remains the same. Cacturn is a nocturnal hunter, and once it has its eyes on a traveler wandering through the desert, it never leaves them. It and other of its kind will follow the person, waiting for him or her to drop their guard. Tire. So when the time is right, they strike. Next on the list is Yamask, number 562 of the National Dex. Yamask is a ghost type, but it is also a ghost and ground type when found in the Galar region. It weighs 1.5 kilograms and is 0.5 meters in height. Looking at this Pokemon, you can instantly tell that while it is cute, it looks like it's crying and you probably want to hug and comfort it. Well, there's a reason why Yamask is crying. In Pokemon Black, its entry says, Each of them carries a mask that used to be its face when it was a human. Sometimes they look at it and cry. And in Black and White 2, these Pokemon arose from the spirits of people interred in graves. Each retains memories of its former life. So pretty much, Yam Mask are dead people turned into ghost Pokemon and the mask they carry? It's a reminder to them that they were once living, breathing humans and they mourn over it. On the topic of cute Pokemon, here is the third spot on the list. Spoink, a psychic type Pokemon that weighs 30 kilos and 0.7 meters tall. This Pokemon actually has a dark side to him. Of course it does. That's why you're here, to see six creepy Pokédex entries. Anyways, this Pokémon lives a sad life, and here's why. In Pokémon Ruby, it states, Spoink bounces around on its tail. The shock of its bouncing makes its heart pump. As a result, this Pokémon cannot afford to stop bouncing. If it stops, its heart will stop. This poor Pokémon has to constantly move. If it stops for only one instance, it dies. What an existence. Honestly, this Pokemon I'm about to tell you is one of the most disturbing Pokemon I have ever heard of. In fact, one of the most disturbing things I've heard from Pokemon, period. And I know for certain, you guys definitely know who I am referring to. Hypno, number 97 of the National Dex. A psychic Pokemon that weighs 75.6 kilograms and 1.6 meters tall. The most famous part of Hypno is its pendulum, which it carries with it at all times. Hypno would use the pendulum that's powered by its psychic type abilities to hypnotize its enemy, hence its name. But the pendulum and its psychic type abilities to mind control is only an inkling of how creepy this Pokemon can be. The Pokédex entry for Hypno from Pokémon Fire Red states, It carries a pendulum-like device. There was once an incident in which it took away a child it hypnotized. You heard that right. This Pokemon abducts little children. This little entry even inspired the internet to make a creepypasta about this Pokemon, including a disturbing song. Man, this Pokemon is all matters of creepy. 
This Pokemon that's next on the list, not only is it creepy, but it also made me furious as a kid fighting her from Pokemon Platinum in Candice's gym. I had a Torterra and I lost her seven times. Anyways, we're getting off topic. Enter Frostlass, number 478 of the National Dex. She is an ice ghost type Pokemon that's 1.3 meters tall and weighs 58.6 kilograms. This Pokemon only evolves from a female Snorunt exposed to a Dawnstone. Her male counterpart is Glalie. There's a saying, looks can be deceiving. Those words describe Frostlass perfectly. The Pokedex entry for her in Moon is as follows. The soul of a woman lost on a snowy mountain possessed an icicle, becoming this Pokemon. The food it most relishes is the souls of men. And in Ultra Moon, it is said that on nights of terrible blizzards, it comes down to human settlements. If you hear it knocking at your door, do not open it. Frostlass is a Pokemon that finds men, handsome young men mind you, won't go after anyone else. And much like the Rusalka from Slavic mythology, she lures them in towards her where she would kill her prey. Frostlass does this by freezing the person with temperatures reaching minus 60 degrees Celsius, rendering the human frozen stiff, where she then feasts on their frozen souls and uses their bodies as decoration when she's done. Wow, what an evil and creepy yet cool Pokemon. Glad she ain't real. And rounding off this episode is Palosand, a ghost and ground type Pokemon. Wow, I'm noticing a trend that is 1.3 meters tall and weighs 250 kilograms. This Pokemon is a menace and is quite terrifying. A lot of information about how scary this creature is, but I'll only read out two entries. In Pokemon Moon, its entry states, buried beneath the castle are masses of dried up bones from those whose vitality it has drained. And in Sword, Palasan is known as the Beach Nightmare. It pulls its prey down into the sand by controlling the sand itself and then sucks out their souls. Palasan is a murderer. It would drag both Pokemon and humans down if those unfortunate would touch its sand mount or come near it in that matter and suck out their souls and leave the bones of those victims buried under it. Wow. From what I've learned here, the Pokemon world is a freaking scary place. That much is certain. Man, and this is why I love Pokemon so much. Not for the scary and disturbing parts, oh no, no. It's because I find it so interesting. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you loved it and you want to see me do another 6 creepy Pokedex entries, or heck, any Pokemon entry or discussion videos, comment down below. Also, leave a like and if you like my content and want to see more, Hit that subscribe button and bell button down below. It's the best way of being notified of my latest videos. And I hope to see you in the next video. This is Otendo signing out.